enjoy being immersed in nature, there's almost nowhere more beautiful on earth than Sedona, Arizona. And if being pampered lights your fire, and you just need some downtime to relax and introspect, at this resort, you'll get the best of both worlds. Hi, I'm standing in one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Enchantment Resort, a five-star destination spot nestled in Sedona, Arizona's Boynton Canyon. The moment you check in to this luxurious green resort, the first thing you'll notice is the colorful, classic southwestern decor inspired by the Native Americans who inhabited the land for millennia. This influence is present throughout the grounds of enchantment, from the well-appointed hotel rooms, which bring guests up close and personal with sacred ground while nestled in the lap of luxury. From the gift shop, which allows guests to take home a piece of this rich heritage with indigenous spa products, clothing, and jewelry. But it doesn't stop there. Enchantment actively honors Native culture with complete activities program, including Native drum and flute. <laughs> to get the lay of the land, I took a long hike on one of Enchantment's numerous hiking trails. Set on 70 acres of panoramic natural terrain, Enchantment Resort stands at the doorway of secluded Boynton Canyon. Surrounded by red rock formations and powerful energetic vortexes known for inspiring body, mind, and spirit. With breathtaking views like these, it's easy to get in touch with Mother Nature. After the hike, I got a dose of Enchantment's five-star service with a personal escort on an eco-friendly golf cart, which carried me through the grounds of the resort and down to the Miyamo Spa. Twice ranked as the best destination spa in the world by Travel and Leisure magazine readers, Miyamo takes its name from the Native American word for journey and draws upon indigenous wisdom and tradition to lead guests toward their own path of exploration and transformation. Throughout the spa, there are dozens of places to relax and unwind from cozy lounges to the swimming pools and saunas. My personal transformation at the spa began with the Inner Quest, a one-hour treatment honoring Native ceremony and ritual, including the medicine wheel, representing the four stages of life, the use of sacred plants to cleanse my energy, and an authentic Pendleton blanket to create the warmth of a sweat lodge. The therapist explained each part of this sacred treatment step by step. First, I'm going to use the sweet grass to clear our energy. We use the sweet grass as a blessing, a clearing. I'll open sacred space with the drum. So the winds of the west, the birth, the beginning, to the winds of the south, the childhood years, the years of learning, to the winds of the east, adulthood, years of manifestation to the winds of the north the elders the wisdom keepers who pass down the teachings and the spiritual directions these are the cycles of life then I'm going to use some healing techniques that the Native Americans use on hand healings okay to just let your body relax and decompress and then what I'm going to use is some cedar and sage essential oils have you breathe in that medicine 
feel my energy and allow us to connect. Breath to breath, energy to energy. Breathe in the medicine. Allow the medicine to become one with you. And then I'm gonna use that cedar and sage and massage seven sacred areas on your body. seven areas. The whole point with the stones is to recreate an essence of a sweat lodge and have special spiritual powers. And then I'll be leaving you. I'll be tucking you in the Pendleton blanket and I'll be leaving you for about 15 minutes for you to go inside and really either the healing or the purpose that you came in for the treatment. Call on all the medicine the plant people, the stone people, the grandmothers, the grandfathers. And ask them to be with you and tuck you in the Pendleton blanket. Deeply healing and relaxing, my treatment was sealed with a powerful intention and a sacred stone. And this is for your own personal journey. Mm. Thank you. Next, I booked a watsu, a gentle form of body work performed in a warm saltwater pool. After acclimating myself to the water, the therapist explained to me the power of watsu. So they have this notion of this steel space mm -hmm. in, inside us, kind of at the bottom of the breath, for example. So when you hit that really silent dead space, in there somewhere. It's not dead, it's just looks like it. Yeah. Put your back against the wall and then you give you some clothes. And also I have to warn you that it's quite close physically since I hold you, yeah? Yes. <laughs> you know that already. Well you're not so bad to look at so <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you push them in. Okay. You have to to push quite well. Yeah. Watsu combines elements of shiatsu massage, joint mobilization, muscle stretching, and even dance. intimate treatment was so relaxing, I actually fell asleep in the water. Now this is conscious living. Between the treatments and the energy of the red rocks, I needed a moment to collect my thoughts, meditate, and introspect. So I headed to the Crystal Grotto the heart and soul of Miyama. A magical space designed to resemble a kiva, the traditional Native American place of ritual. The grotto housed several large crystals that helped amplify my clarity and intention, and a skylight that ushered in the calming rays of the moon. One of the elements that makes this spa a world-class destination is the Miyamo Cafe. Mm -hmm. 
open exclusively to resort guests, the Miyamo Cafe serves three health-conscious meals daily with a continuously changing menu of contemporary, intelligent cuisine served fresh from their exhibition-style kitchen. With an emphasis on fresh and nutritious ingredients from organic sources, it makes healing easy and delicious. My favorite was the raw gazpacho soup. So fresh. And for a fresh workout, I booked a private session with one of Miyamo's top yoginis, who gave me a few pointers on how to take my yoga game to the next level. And just how important a regular practice could be for my ongoing healing. With one-on-one -on -one instruction on my alignment and form, it was one of the best yoga classes I've ever taken. several vinyasas, I felt open, invigorated, and grounded. By the end of my stay, I was sad to go, but the Red Rocks are always calling me, so I know I'll be back again.